Mark Bunker, 765 Bruce Avenue, Clearwater Beach. Recently, the Concerned Businessmen of, of America wrote to the City Commission and the Mayor's Office, plus Governor Bush and other <coughs> elected officials. They wanted to inform you that right here in Clearwater, there was a school that was exceptional. Well, out of all the schools this group had investigated, this school stood out as a shining example of what education should be in this country. The Concerned Businessmen of America wanted you to know that they were granting the school a $5,000 <laughs> award for their outstanding performance, and they were giving the school the national recognition that they so richly deserved. In honor of this event, they requested that the mayor issue a proclamation praising the school. To be extra helpful, the Concerned Businessmen even included a proposed proclamation for your office to rubber stamp. The mayor's office ended up sending the school a much watered down version of this proclamation. The amazing school in question is Scientology's Clearwater Academy. Well, good for them. If L. Ron Hubbard School is that good, it deserves to be recognized. After all, what's important are the children, not the uh, history of fraud and abuse associated with L. Ron Hubbard's name. Clearly, the concerned businessmen of America felt that way, because why else would this group of civic leaders single out this one small school in Clearwater, Florida? Well, here's one reason. The concerned businessmen of America is a Scientology front group. It's one of many such front groups that have as its goal getting Scientology accepted into the mainstream. So Scientology comes disguised as the concerned businessmen, and all they want from you is to acknowledge the excellence of the school. Oh, and if you would please, send four copies of the proclamation. One for the school, one for the school sponsor, one for the archives, and one for display. Now you see, that's the goal. Scientology wants to be able to put you on display. They want to be able to point at the awards and say, the mayor loves us. The governor appreciates the wonderful work that we do. And when the school voucher plan comes into effect, they'll be able to say to the parents, come here, we have national recognition, and look what the mayor says about us. You may think that this little proclamation is a minor point, but Scientology has written policy on how to covertly do just what they've done here. It's yet another example of the fraud that Scientology has been perpetrating on the citizens of Clearwater since they've snuck into town under a phony name and attempted to destroy Gabe Casares and any other person who tried to stand in their way. You've been lied to, you've been used. In the meantime, Scientology is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to have private investigators follow members of the Lisa McPherson Trust everywhere we go, and they're spending millions in legal fees in an attempt to destroy Bob Minton and the rest of us for daring to tell the truth about Scientology. The St. Pete Times was right when they said that Scientology was not like any other religion they know. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak to items that are not on the agenda? Not on the agenda. I'll take care of it. That's from the concern business. Yes, my name is Lauren Westenberger. I'm um, representative for the state of Florida for Planet 2000, a group that plants trees all over the state of Florida. I wasn't going to say anything this evening. Uh, I came on the Bayview issue, but the gentleman that just spoke before me uh, was very critical of the church. I've worked with volunteers from the church uh, to plant trees uh, in your city and all over Pinellas County. Uh, I believe we planted in Pinellas County in the last five years over 35,000 trees. Uh, Mr. Johnson, the planting program we had done with you were um, with some of the church's volunteers. Uh, I would just like to, vol to validate these volunteers um, and I think having the Church of Scientology in our city is a great asset. Uh, they have cleaned up the downtown area and improved all the properties they've bought and have improved the quality of life, in my opinion. So um, I realize everybody's off, uh, entitled to their opinion, but the good that I have seen the uh, volunteers from the church do, um, I, I just felt that I had to say that in light of the gentleman before me. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak to items not on the agenda? Not on the agenda.